Hello guys, it's Martin from Million Miner and today we brought you the newest Bitmain and Miner K7 which is the most profitable nervous CKB miner in the market. We're going to unbox the package, we're going to check the miner, how it operates, we're going to check the hash rate and we're gonna help you guys how to install it. So let's go. First thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to identify our miner's IP address. And for that, the very basic method is just to go to your router settings and identify on the client devices. Some device has to be named AntMiner, and that's your miner. So uh, we already know our IP address is 200. We already uh, reserved a DHCP IP address for our miner, so we know that this IP is not going to change anytime soon. So we are going to visit the miner page this is the basic ant miner dashboard most of you probably already know how it looks like for the pool settings we're obviously going to use the pool we recommend to use the pool because you can mine different um, coins with that it's a pretty straightforward um, and very useful pool and with the pool you don't need anything else just a pool url and you need your username followed by a dot and your worker id for a password you can leave any password if we go to system, you can change the miner password here. The current password is root. All ant miners coming with root and root. So username root, password root. We're not gonna change it, but you can change your password here. This is the firmware upgrade page. So if you need to up upgrade your firmware, you can do it here. And then obviously at the bottom, you have the miner logs. So you can see data from your miner, uh, how it operates. You see no servers could be used. Well, we didn't set up a pool yet. So let's go to settings and we go to pool one. We're gonna insert our DX pool, pool URL. For the miner name, we're going to use our DX pool uh, username followed by a worker ID, which we're gonna use simply K7 in this, in this case. Uh, for password, that's a matter. You can just put an X in here. It's not gonna make any difference. We're gonna hit save and the miner are gonna save the pool details and it should be hashing. If you go to dashboard now, you're gonna see that the miner already show real hash rate. It's hashing at 63.9, so it's a little bit above the rated hash rate. That's basically it, guys. You see um, all the hashboard information at the bottom. You see all the hashboards separately. You see your fan speeds, basically, and you have your network status, real-time hash rate, uh, miner temperature, and all the basic information you need to know about the miner. Thank you for watching us.